Hello friends, in this video we will solve lead code problem number 73, set matrix zeros. So first we will understand the problem statement, after that we will see approach for this problem and at the end we will see code in Java. The question says that we have given n cross m matrix, if an element is zero we need to set its entire row and column zero and we need to do in place. So in place is we not need to create any other matrix, we need to do in the given matrix only we have zero is at this position so we need to make all of that row to zero so means this and all of that current column also to zero so as we can see we have here zero and zero so we need to do this thing in same matrix let's understand the approach for this problem so we have given this matrix and we have taken two boolean variables for taking the first row and first column if zero is present or not here first row and first column have no zeros then by default it is initialized with false so it is remain false only so we will go through the matrix we will skip this part and we will focus on this part so this is this have index 0 1 2 0 1 2 after that if we found 0 at this point so we will convert that current row and current column means from that first row and first column to 0 so this will be 0 and this will be 0 after that we will go through this is 1 so we will not convert its row and column after this this is 1 after that this is 1 so again we will iterate through this matrix means this part of the matrix and check if this is 1 and its first value is 0 or not if it's 0 then we will convert it into the 0 so currently we have this matrix 0 0 so we will convert this value to 0 because we have this 0 or this 0 but we have here 1 and here 0 so we can convert it to 0 after that we will go to this index so this will remain as it is so, one. so we will check if it's first row and first column have 0 or not so 0 is there in the row so we will convert into the 0 after that we will check for this and row have 0 it don't have 0 and current column is also not zero so we will keep one as it is so this is our final answer so there are two points we need to keep in mind we need to assign first column and first row if we found any zero at any position after that we need to iterate through the matrix and check if that current position is one and if it's first column and first row is zeros then we need to assign value zero after that if we have first row and first column is present is zero then we need to convert that column or row into zeros so now let's see example two that we had solved with example one so first we need to check row and column let me index it zero one two three zero one two at first row we have two zeros so at this point we get zero then we will first row equal to true and first column is also true so we need to focus on this part now so we will check if it's first row and first column is zero or not so it is three it is not for this also we not after that for two we have zero in the row first row and column we don't have so we will convert this into zero so from the both we need one zero we need to convert that into zero after that we will check for three column and row not have zero for one also not have for five the row have zero then we will convert it into zero after that we will iterate through if row is true then we will convert all the row elements to zero so it will be 0 0 and column is also true then we will convert that column values into 0 so it will be 0 0 so from this also we can see this all elements to be 0 
so this is our final answer let's see the time and space complexity for this solution so time complexity will be o of rho into column means iterating through matrix and space complexity will be o of 1 because we are not using any extra memory only variables we are using now let's see solution in java so here i have taken two boolean variables first row and first column for identifying if first column and first row have zero or not so for this this loop is checking if the current column have zero or not if it has zero then we are breaking at that index means we identified that at particular column or particular row we have zero from this both we are checking after that we are checking for elements means skipping the first row and first column so we are skip the index 0 row and 0 column so we are iterating through the 1 1 after that we are checking at that particular index we have 0 then we are assigning that first row and first column to 0 value after that we are iterating through the same loop from 1 1 and checking if that current index means first row and first column have 0 at that column and row and we are assigning 0 here we are checking if first column have zeros then we are assigning all columns to 0 and here also thank you for watching my video please like and subscribe to my channel because it motivates me to create more videos